Today we're going to try to demonstrate that the best place for grill seasoning is the grill. That's why we call it grill seasoning. Now, we've already used this once and that's when I tried to set myself and the world on fire. So we're not going to use that today, but we're going to demonstrate our special new grill seasoning for chicken and poultry and our special lemon pepper grill seasoning for poultry and fish. And it just so happens we have right here some poultry and fish. Now we're going to make some lemon pepper fish here and I think lemon pepper chicken breast here. And that's where we're going to use our, let's get this guy up there, I don't want to burn the world down again. Uh, so these will be our lemon pepper. And then over here, we're going to use the regular poultry seasoning. And we'll get these guys worked out on here, we'll get the plan going. There's a, you know what? We'll just stick with this. These guys here, these will be the uh, poultry seasoning and these will be the lemon peppers. And so probably the first thing to do would be to turn on the grill. And the second thing to do would be put on the seasoning. Okay, so here is our regular poultry grill seasoning. Put a little bit on here. Some more here. Keep in mind I cannot see the back side of that. But it will have to do. And then here's our lemon pepper. I like a lot of lemon pepper. This is pretty strong. Uh, I may regret this. Okay, and then we let it cook. Well, it's uh, been about five minutes, and looks like it's about time to start checking this thing, flipping it. Ah, uh, yeah, we're starting to get cooked there. And this one, oh yeah, get all these guys flipped and then we'll spice them up again, or season them up rather. Let's take our fish here. And there we go. Okay. Let's lemon pepper this up again. Let's try not to set ourselves on fire. And lemon pepper this one up again. Oh, that's got a bunch on there. Thankfully I'll be flipping that again, so maybe it won't be so strong. And we got our poultry seasoning here. Do that side up and do that side up. It's threatening to, isn't it? Okay, and we'll let it go again, and we'll flip it and check it in a few minutes. Okay, we've been checking these a little bit, and this one's ready to flip, but it's still got some juice coming out of it, so it's not done yet. This one's ready to flip. This one's ready to flip. Mm, less ready to flip than the others. Okay, so we'll put that one back. And I believe the fish is ready to flip. Oh, the fish wants to stick. Now that's typical with fish. Uh, next thing is to try to find a way to turn it. Uh, and oh, we lucked out. Got it. That over a little bit. And we'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll check it again. Well, the fish is the thinnest, so as we would expect it to be the first one to be done. And it is. So we're gonna, whoops, it's gonna come off in two pieces. That's okay. We'll eat both of them. And there's our fish. And let me 
see it's tender and it's got a lot of parsley on it. It's got a lot of lemon you can not see so well, but you'll be able to taste it good. Um, the next thing to do would be probably take our chicken. It's not doing so well. It's going pretty slow. We'll put it over here where the fish was. Get it over a good heating element. And we need to let those go some more because they're a lot thicker than the fish. They're not, not near done yet. So we'll check back with that in a few minutes. Okay, what we're seeing here is some of the complications with doing some fairly thick pieces of chicken. And also when you cook with one that has a bone in it, it takes a while. Now, we let it cook mostly on the back side that don't have the skin because uh, the skin will burn quickly and it makes it very ugly. But now we're at the point where we need to flip them over a little bit and we'll, we'll run them a little bit from the, from the skin side, try to get them finished up. Now the fish has been tested and uh, it probably has a little bit too much lemon pepper seasoning for some people. I like things a little saltier and a little lemonier. So, uh, you know, it's, it's good for me, but maybe not good for other people so much. And, uh, but it's already been tested and I think it's delicious. And I think, I think everybody thinks it's delicious. As you can hear, one of the chickens are upset because we're cooking one of his relatives. Now that's common in rural Thailand, the chickens get upset. Now we're going to flip these again. I'm not sure, I think we've already flipped them four or five times. Now, if you're smart enough to split your chicken breasts, by that I mean cut them lengthwise, uh, you could probably cut that down to flipping them two or three times tops. But uh, we flipped these and I'll flip it one more time. Maybe I already did that. We flip these and uh, we're going to let them go maybe another five minutes. I think, I think they'd be cooked all the way through then. As you can see, we don't have the, we haven't turned the skin black yet. It's kind of a golden brown. I really don't want it any darker than that. So we'll go another five minutes or so and we'll check these out. I have a suspicion this will be the last one on the grill and I'm going to have to put it on low heat and let it go for a while. But these guys here should come off on the next, after about five minutes. Okay, I would say the two chicken breasts are finished, and I would say there's a very low chance of the thigh being finished. Here's our lemon pepper, so we'll put him over here next to the fish. And here's our one seasoned with poultry seasoning. We'll put him here too. And uh, as you can see, they're a nice golden color. Should be able to cut into here with a try cut in here with a fork. There you can see. And look at that. Nice and tender, juicy, and delicious. As for this guy over here. Um, my suggestion to you, if you had the same problem, like I said, I'm going to let this one go for a long time on a lower heat, but you could take this and finish it in an oven if you have an oven handy. Um, the way I like to do these things that have bones in them a lot of times, I like to just put them in an oven from start to finish. And I'll very soon be doing a video about using the uh, Charlie Wilson's oven bake uh, chicken coating, and uh, I'll throw in a, I'll throw in a thigh with just the uh, poultry seasoning on it for that. So you'll get to see both of them go through a convection oven, and you'll see we don't have this problem about it taking so long to cook. It'll be cooked all the way through on both sides. A lot better than what we're doing here on the grill. So. 
This guy's got to wait, but these, these are ready to go. And I'm going to have to see just how much of this I can get inside my stomach. That's how it's done.